In California, we know our gas is more expensive than a lot of other states, most other states, in fact. But the gap between what we pay and what the rest of the country pays is only getting wider. So wide, we have set a record. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen catches up with oil and gas experts to find out why we are spending so much more to fill up. I just spent around $80 to fill my gas tank. At many stations, it costs more than $6 per gallon. I talked to experts to find out the reason why our prices are skyrocketing in San Diego. Gas prices in California are the highest in the nation. The price difference between California and the rest of the country is now $2.60 per gallon, the highest price gap ever, according to Jay Young, an oil and gas expert. I talked with Charles Langley, the executive director of Public Watchdogs, a public advocacy group. Why are gas prices so high here? Well, that's the, the million dollar question. Um, you know, a judge ruled that theoretically there isn't any collusion going on. The problem with the gasoline market in California is that it simply isn't competitive. Florida even has gas prices that are more than $3 cheaper per gallon than California, according to AAA. Here you've got the state of Florida, which has been absolutely decimated by a hurricane, and gas prices are basically normal compared to California. That's absurd. That's just absurd. I mean, if anyone should have high gas prices, it should be Florida right now. Langley says gas prices should be dropping, yet they are not. On a per gallon basis, the cost of the oil that goes into a gallon of gasoline has dropped more than 90 cents. Our gasoline prices haven't dropped at all. And I just don't see any market reason justifying these high prices other than the fact that these oil companies are able to charge more because they can. Young says, quote, California doesn't do anything to help oil and gas prices stay down. If they were more pro-drilling, it would change the prices. I think the refineries are making several dollars per gallon. They're just making out like fat rats. They're making 10, 20, 30 dollars whenever you fill up. Langley says all it will take to decrease gas prices is for one refinery to lower their prices and the rest will follow. This is a problem with us being gouged by major refiners and until we get someone who comes in and is an aggressive cost cutter, we're not going to see lower gasoline prices. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.